Hello everyone, I'm Kat, and tonight we're going to be doing some planters. I'm going to be doing planters for a while. Um, stop. Stop, stop, stop. Hello everyone, I'm Kat, and tonight it is 2.30 in the morning. So tonight I'm going to be making some more planters. I have a big plan ready for my garden for this year, and that's going to include a bunch of planting. I've got some uh, peat moss and some other components to go into my raised beds, or not raised beds, I should say my containers, and some of these containers are not turning out so well. So I'm going to be making a bunch more because I know that this is the way it's going to be. A big pot that I threw last time, that's crack. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a plate to put underneath it. I'm going to put a hole to match up with it and pretend like it's a just a planter, regular planter. Um, it's not functional. I'm not too worried about it. As long as it doesn't go all the way up the sides, even then I'll line it with something. I don't care. Um, but one y'all didn't see me make. I worked on this the whole night. It's a hand-built planter, big, huge planter. And I knew when I did this, this is what was gonna happen. Um, because of the way I worked, I let it get a little too hard on the bottom. I ended up only being able to do squares and we'll look at that. This, I don't think is gonna be savable. Um, I think best case scenario, it's going to go up the sides and it's going to do all kinds of stuff. It'll be split apart. I don't even think a plate on the bottom will save it. Um, but all I've got to do is try, right? I may just chunk it. Whatever I decide, y'all will be there for. Now, tonight I'm going to be making some uh, kind of rustic-y kind of planters, a little smaller, a little less ambitious for tonight since it's already 2 a.m. I don't have another eight hours to work on something that's gonna break tonight, um, cause I have to work tomorrow. I'll leave that for the next weekend. <laughs> so um, tonight I am working on some slabs, getting some slam slabs formed up. I'm gonna be using um, Laguna Speckled Buff, which is still not my favorite. Um, I really don't think that throwing on the wheel, I've had hardly any S cracks. And so I know I was getting tired. That was my last piece to throw. And so that's probably what did it for me. I've got my little 3 8 inch um, pieces of wood that I'm using. And parts of this I'm going to speed through because it takes me a little while to figure out what I'm going to be doing. But we're going to be doing some cool things. It's going to be rustic-y kind of. Um, not, not perfectly straight on the rims. Uh, kind of what I'm going for right now because I'm, you know, I worked so hard on the others and now I'm just going to kind of make it, I'm going to go be fun with it. And if I don't do it tonight, the next video I'll be making a, a fairy house type um, planter. And I'm kind of looking forward to that. Get a little sculpture going in it. Hopefully that one won't crack either. Um, anyway, by the end of this, I'm going to be having some planters. By golly, I'm going to have some planters. Will they look great? <laughs> uh, um, maybe not, but um, I will have some planters. All right, I'll be back and I'm gonna angle you down. I'm gonna probably speed through some of this so you can see what I'm doing. And please enjoy and comment, share, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. Um, I'm starting to gain a little bit of momentum and I kind of like it. Um, to date this one, I'm at 425 subscribers, and I would like to get quite a few more. Um, so if y'all could help me with that, that would be amazing. Um, if nothing else, just to see me mess up stuff. That's, you know, that's always fun. I'm not trying to be like a, a, um, a person that knows everything because I don't know very much at all. I'm just a normal person. Just doing this, I have a full-time night job. I'm a nurse, and... It's been rough out there, and so I'm enjoying in here. Now, now it's been rough in here, but I'm still going to keep going. Anyway. 
am just speeding things up because otherwise it would be like a 50 hour long video and nobody wants to take time for that. Here I am just kind of trimming up the edges. I'm just, I'm just winging it, honestly. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just trying to make some, make a planter and I had a thought in mind of what I was going to do, but I decided I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to do a fairy planter. Just get it done. Enjoyed it. And have it, um, just, just having some fun tonight. It's whenever you have things planned out and you don't feel like going on with what you had planned out, you can just change it up and do it. Do it this way. Okay, so I'm trying to speed through a little bit of stuff. I'm just making a little cylinder. I don't know what's going to go in here. Maybe uh, maybe some lemongrass or I don't know something. Could be some onion greens. I'm gonna kind of pound that down just a little bit and get a little more. I love beating things. Okay. Now let me find a tool I want to do with. Use one of my Garrity tools here to get the center seam. Let's see if I can get a tool you can see. I doubt it. Let's see. Okay. I'm just going to work on the center seam a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's going to be a planter. Just get a good seal on it. It looks pretty good. Just kind of smoothing it inside. You can see kind of I'm not super worried about the shape. This is going to be a whimsical one. I'm going to turn this one into a, a fairy plant or two. Why not? Why not have some fun with it, okay? Doesn't have to be all elaborate, fancy perfects. It can be whimsical and fun too. So I'm going to slip and, slip and score here. And of course, those of you that are wheelchair throwers, I know there's a lot of you out there that don't do any hand building, but you can alter things. It's a lot of fun when it's two o'clock in the morning and you can't really do things outside. You might get shot by the neighbors. sticking already. So I've got just this little random plate on the bottom. While I have it at this point, I'm going to cut a hole in the side. Like, let's see if I can do it this way. As a drain hole. Still pretty wet. We can pretend it's a mouse hole or whatever we want to pretend it is. If I can get it out. It's kind of ugly. There we go. Okay. Before I clean it up, can you see the hole here? Okay. There we 
There we go. Looks like a little mouse hole in there. That's not going to work. It's too thick for this. That's okay. Like I said, whimsical. My main thing is, will it cut me? I hope not. I'll sand things down afterwards if they start to cut. It's for a plant. Not me. Well, for me, but... I'll show you if I get any kind of... I might put some flowers in it, too. That'd be cute. Just some some flowers. Okay, so now I've got this part done. And <laughs> this is not going anywhere. It is stuck tight. But I'm just going to go through and get it around it. Okay. Yeah, I think flowers are going to go in it. I'll plant some flowers. That'll be pretty. Okay, give me just a minute and I'll be back and we're going to work on getting the fairy stuff put on it. A while back, Jessica Putnam Phillips on um, Clay Share Prime, Clay Share, shared some of these little fairy doors and things like that. They're silicone mats that I just got off of Amazon. Haven't had much time to play with them yet, or any time to play with them. So um, this is what we're going to do with this. Just try to use these and put a door on here and. Let's see, since I've got the, the hole over here, it's kind of leaning to one side that way. I'll probably put the door, let's go with right here. So, I'm gonna do a little slip and score. Slip in it. And this is me playing. I haven't done this before. Well, as far as with this clay, it's a bit, it's speckled buff, so it's got its own little things. I'm going to roll this a little, out a little more. Get all my stuff out of the way. Yeah, it'll fit in. I'm just taking this clay. And I'm just going to press it in. Press, press, press. Hopefully it'll come out okay. Getting it all in there. Let's see. 
Aw. Look at that cute little little door. Okay. See if I can raise this up just a little bit. Wants to keep falling down. Okay, so now I'm just going to trim around the door. It's too cute. I feel like I'm cheating. Y'all think I'm cheating by using a press mold like this? A little cheap silicone. And I'll put a link in it if I can find the link when I bought it. I think it was like before Christmas. I can't remember exactly when. And hopefully I'll be able to fire these stuff do a bisque firing next week. Just getting it all adhered here. Okay, there's that. I'll work on it a little bit more to make sure it's adhered back here into all the crevices so I don't get any air pockets retaining moisture and blowing off the, the little door. Let me go find a I'm trying to just kind of work the edges much better. I almost need this up over my shoulder so that y'all can see better because I'm not good enough to do it upside down like the professionals are. But anyway, there's a little door for my little whimsical potter plot, planter. Let's see, what else can I put on there? I think I should put a window on. I think I'm gonna put a window on. Just gonna press all this stuff in here, let's see. Pressing it in. Press, press, press. I think I may make a ton of these. I like these. They're fun. Let's put some fun back in it. I've been getting too stressed out with everything. Okay. I think I've got it pressed in. See that? Okay, definitely using the window and the little planter box. I didn't get a lot of the detail on the planter box, but 
Um, didn't get a lot of detail on that one at all. So I'm going to cut the other small door out. I'll put this on the back side. Maybe right here. Back door. Let's see. I just have a little bit of vinegar and water in with uh, some dried clay that I mixed up. So I'm just putting that on there. Four, but oh yeah, my blue. Thing. Getting that in there. Make sure it's pressed in the inside. So there's that. So far we've gotten this and this. I think I'm getting too into this now. This is a groggy clay, so some of the details may be lost a little bit, but I think once I glaze it, it'll come out cute. I'm just gonna use my just my basic glaze um, and let the colors speak for themselves. Since it's a planter. Gonna go get my squirt bottle. Just pressing it out until it's thinner. Try to get a mushroom on here. Not so into the snail thing. I don't know what this other one is. Let's go with this mushroom. I've only used really cookie cutters. I don't think I've used sprig molds or things like this to get details on items. So this is Something new for me. Y'all are watching a first. As long as nothing blows off, I'll be really happy. This is going to be a little mushroom. Got some other sizes in there too. See the little mushroom? Okay. I'm going to cut that out and put it somewhere. like some of the little round bumps didn't get on there so I'll see if I need to add anything to it. I think we'll be okay. I'm gonna put a mushroom just over this hole. Mm 
Okay, see right there, it looks like a little mousy hole. Put this. I'm just gonna put that on there. Then the top. Okay. Let's clean it up there just a little bit. Now I ran my finger thin through it, so let's just see what we got here. I'll probably put a couple little. Eh, you'll leave it. Why am I gonna leave it? It's a planter. It'll still be cute. It'll be cute for a planter. A lot better than just the. It's a sculptural planter. A little mushroom over the hole. Now. Let me see. I really want to try to get a window with the with the little planter because that's too funny right there. So I'm going to try and see if I can get that detail. This would make a cute little um, lidded jar, but I'm not going to do that because it's supposed to be a planter. I say that. Yeah, it's a planter. I'm, I'm dedicated to planter right now. I'm going to get some like leaves and things like that to make a little jar with. That would be cute. But this definitely flowers in here. Be so pretty. Show it off. Okay. Let's do this. We're going to go in there. How's everybody been doing? I know that we've all been kind of slowing down just a little bit as far as the recording and things like that. I'm going to try to, I'm doing my best to get a couple up next week. Um, or one tomorrow, one Saturday and one um, Wednesday is my goal. And then try to do Wednesday and Saturday for a little while. For a couple weeks and then go back to once a week. Try not to burn out. I have my little homesteading channel. Well, it's more like, yeah, little homesteading um, channel that I'm trying to do as well because of my garden and things like that. And if I'm already going to be doing it, I might as well film it and remember what I did. So I'll know if I want to do that again or if I don't want to do it again because otherwise I'm not going to remember. And so that's what this is about too. So I have this channel so I know what I did. It's my little diary I guess you'd say because I don't really keep journal or anything like that I have dyslexia and I'm attention deficit so it's going to be all lost everywhere but I can do this okay that's much better so I'm going to make this look like a, a frame. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do that. It just gives it a little bit more of an element to it. I'm just going to put it up just like that. Otherwise, it looks a little off balance. But when the flowers get in there and grow, hopefully I don't kill them. This is my first time to really container garden. I don't grow flowers. I don't do this or that. But 
This year I'm going to. I'm going to put in some flowers. I'm going to be growing herbs to eat with. Um, I use herbs in my food. I just have never grown them really, except for rosemary. I was really good with rosemary, but my plant kept disappearing. I know, right? Thing was like several feet tall, and I walk out and the plant has disappeared. That's been quite a while back. I'm going to have some more rosemary, though. That thing grew like crazy. And I'm going to have like some lemongrass and all kinds of fun. Fun herbs. I love tea, so I'll be making some chamomile tea and with lavender. That's all grown with no pesticides and herbicides because I don't use them. Now, I'm not beyond using like a little bit of fertilizer here and there that's not organic. And that's, you know, within my rights to do. But I'm not going to spray it with stuff that's going to just kill me. <laughs> we do enough of that. <laughs> There's so much cancer out there that... Oh, okay. So, look at this. Isn't that cute? Ta-da! We have got a cute little planter. Now, if it doesn't crack like these other big planters did, but I don't think so. I'm going to cover it up some with um, some plastic. Ta -da. I'm going to put a ring around the bottom of it, though. Y'all won't have to be here for that, so I'm just going to adhere it a little bit better in the inside. Um, just make sure everything's sturdy and. One planter down. How many more to go? Just depends on how many survive. Alrighty. I really appreciate you watching tonight. And if you have any suggestions of things you want to see, different styles of planters or anything else, um, the planter will probably be going on for the next month, I guess, until I start putting all this stuff in them. But um, yeah, anything else, just give me suggestions and put them down below. You'll see me muddle through stuff. I don't do things before I do things on here, just so you see the real things happening. How does it show up? It's just like this. Alrighty. Thank you. Bye.